The second day of the Tim Buck Shields Memorial Baseball Tournament kicked off bright and early this morning with several local teams in action. Start things off at Frank Loria Memorial Field. Clarksburg post 13 taking on Marietta, Ohio post 64. Leighton Wagman rolling on the bump for post 13. He strikes out the side in the first and his boys got him some help in the second. Colt Sutton leads off the inning with a triple and then Aiden Eddy trades in places blasting a shot over the left fielder's head and turning on the jet for an RBI triple. Dylan Richards into the box next, and he delivers a nice piece of hitting to bring Eddie home. Single the other way makes it 2 0 in favor of Clarksburg. A squeeze bunt adds another, and then Caleb Sutton tacks on one more, singling over the second baseman's head to stretch the lead to four after two innings. That was far from the finish for post 13, though. In the third, an error makes it 5 0 before Luke Davison bounces one on the turf that finds its way into left field and scores Colt Sutton. Liam Jeffries keeping the bats hot for Clarksburg. Clarksburg ripping a line drive into left that brings in two more runs. That gives post 13 an 8-0 lead, and they still weren't done. Caleb Sutton back to the plate later in the inning, and he replicates his first appearance. Another line drive into right center that makes it a nine-run game. Post 13 adds another in the third. Colt Sutton cracks a solo shot in the fourth to pick up the win, 11-2. And back east on Route 50 at Bridgeport High School, host Bridgeport Post 68, squaring off with Charleston Post 65 this afternoon. Didn't take long for Bridgeport to get on the board. Pitch goes straight over Dylan Duvall's head, and Isaac Luff trots across the plate in the top of the first. That gives Jacob Stavrakis a lead to work with, and he worked quickly, first snaring the comebacker right here, tossing it on to first for out number one, and then recording back-to-back -back strikeouts to retire Charleston in the first. His teammates reward him in the second. Brody Pierce up to the plate. He gives the ball a ride to the fence in left field. Two runs come in to score, and he strolls into second base with a stand-up double. That was far from it for post-68, though bases loaded for Mark Bia for this time. How about this for a Baltimore chop? Bounces it over the third baseman's head, and two more runs come in to make it 5-0 Bridgeport. Michael Romano would simply keep it rolling later in the inning. He sneaks a ground ball into shallow left field. Anthony Dixon scores and that finishes up a five run inning for post 68. Bridgeport holds off the Charleston rally and wins it eight to four.